Hello friends, in this video we are going to study the types of boundaries which are called as smooth according to hydrodynamic con concept. So which are hydrodynamically smooth and which are rough are going to be studied in this topic. So let's move on to the video. I am talking about the boundaries that is the edges of the plate. So if I am considering the flat surface of a plate then it is not necessary that that will be smooth. So depending on the various conditions we will call the plate as a smooth and rough. So if I talk about the surface of plate say this is the surface and these are the undulations which are shown by hatch line in the figure. So these are having some height from the base or flat surface. Practically speaking both the surfaces are having some roughness but hydrodynamically talking I can differ the two types of plates. We know that in boundary layer this is laminar zone, this is transitional zone and this is turbulent zone. In turbulent zone, there exists a laminar sublayer. Laminar sublayer is that zone in which flow velocities are very slow. Hence, all the layers are parallel to each other. So, there is not exist any disturbance between the travel of fluid. So, if I talk about separate layers, say this is first layer, second layer, third layer they will not get mixed in each other so it means that there is not any chance to form a wake or disturbances in laminar zone so this laminar sublayer zone plays very important role to decide whether that portion of plate is hydrodynamically smooth or rough. If the undulations are below laminar sublayer, it means that they are not disturbing the stresses, they are not disturbing shear stresses beyond this laminar zone. So that type of plate is called as smooth boundary and if the undulations are having height more than the laminar sublayer zone, if the part of plate is encroaching beyond the laminar sublayer zone then it will create some disturbances some wake formations so that type of plate is called as rough boundary so when average depth k i will denote it with symbol k is less than laminar sublayer of surface del then called hydrodynamically see this is not actually smooth but it is according to behavior of hydro that is fluid it is smooth if it is not then called hydrodynamically rough boundary So in case of these rough boundaries, the eddies are formed. I am showing the part of eddies, this curved portion. This curved portion is nothing but the entry of fluid into the region of laminar zone. So that is called as eddies. So eddies formed outside laminar sublayer. try to penetrate in 
लैमिनार सब लेयर बट कैनॉट रीच टू सरफेस इन केस ऑफ रफ बाउंड्रीज एडी इज रीच टू सरफेस हेन्स कॉल्ड रफ बाउंड्रीज एंड ऑब्वियसली हाइड्रोडाइनामिकली so it is very important what will be the thickness of laminar sublayer zone then for that purpose various scientists have practically taken some values and their results are as per the scientist is nikud say whatever will be the pronunciation so according to this scientist nikud say when k upon del value k is the laminar sublayer zone thickness and del is the laminar layer thickness is less than 0.25 that is called as smooth boundary practically speaking if this is first zone this is transitional this is turbulent this is laminar zone say so this is total 4 cm and say this is 1 cm so this ratio is 1 upon 4 that is 0.25 if this k value is less than 0.25 if thickness of this layer is less than 1 cm in case of 4 cm thick boundary layer then in that case the boundary will be called as smooth boundary when k upon del value is greater than 6 it will be called as rough boundary and when it ranges from these two values that is 0.25 to 6 then it is called as transition boundary if i want to talk about reynolds number then we can also conclude some results as as per reynolds number u star into k divided by nu should be less than 4 for smooth boundary this is the velocity of flow k is the thickness of laminar sublayer and nu is the dynamic viscosity kinematic viscosity this is the first result second result is u star into k upon nu is greater than 100 called as rough boundary and third u star into k upon nu between 4 to 100 called as transition boundary that's all thank you